Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Here Talk Football. Jurgen Klopp happy despite Liverpool failure to win. Why? Klopp was not left frustrated after Liverpool failed to win. On the contrary, the German manager was happy with his team for showing strong character in this match. I don't feel frustrated. Maybe I should be frustrated, but in reality, I don't. I'm very happy, Klopp told the club's official website. The challenge we faced today was that we had to show character and attitude, and the boys showed sensational character and sensational attitude. I love it. Man City always struggle when visiting Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Manchester City could close in on the Premier League trophy this midweek. The defending champions will face a crucial duel against Tottenham. Currently, Arsenal are at the top of the table, 86 points from 37 games. Man City in second place, 85 points from 36 games. That is, Man City must win to bring the trophy race to the last game. It just so happens that their opponent is Tottenham, Arsenal's eternal rival, and it just so happens that Man City has a bad record against Spurs. Kylian Mbappe won the League One Player of the Year trophy for the 2023 Paz 2024 season. PSG forward Kylian Mbappe was voted League One's best player of the 2023-2024 season. Please note, this is the fifth time Mbappe has won the League One Best Player award. He had previously won four of those individual titles in a row. This season, Mbappe has scored 27 goals in League One. His sharpness helped Le Parisien lock up the league title for the 2023-2024 season. Arsenal scenario of winning the Premier League this season, hoping Man City gets stuck. Arsenal are currently top of the Premier League table with 86 points from 37 matches. Man City are ranked second with 85 points from 36 matches. That is, assuming both teams sweep the rest of the game, Man City will be champions with 91 points, two points ahead of Arsenal. This scenario is what Arsenal fans fear. The case is the same as Liverpool's experience a few years ago. Twice Liverpool almost won, but always lost by a narrow margin to Man City. The end of Olivier Giroud's career at AC Milan. Giroud announced he would leave Milan at the end of the season. After that, he will continue his career in MLS. The next two games will be my last games for Milan, Giroud said. My career will continue in MLS. I'm very proud of everything I've done at Milan over the three seasons. It's a good time to announce it. My story with Milan ended this year, but Milan will always be in my heart. Bayern Munich is still injured after losing to Real Madrid. Bayern Munich's Alfonso Davies revealed his pain has not gone away after his side lost to Real Madrid in the Champions League semifinals. This was conveyed by Davies in his interview after Bayern Munich's match against Wolfsburg on Sunday, 12.05-2024. It was very difficult because we were so close to winning, but in the end, we still fell short. This is football. Some of us, even most of us, are still thinking about it. Barcelona 2 clean sheets versus Sociedad, it is rare. Barcelona won without conceding when hosting Real Sociedad in the 35th week of La Liga 2023 Bas 2024. Tuesday, 05 14, 2024. Xavi's men won with a score of 2 Nadro. Lamina Yamal opened Barcelona's lead with a goal he scored in the 40th minute. Rafinha then doubled it with a penalty in the 90 plus 3 minute. In the previous meeting, in week 12, Barcelona also won and kept a clean sheet against Sociedad. Ronald Araujo's injury time goal gave Barcelona a 1-0 victory at home to Sociedad. Four months unemployed, Jose Mourinho is a prospect for Fenerbahce. Jose Mourinho could make the next surprise in European football. The latest news says that Mourinho is included in the candidate for Fenerbahce's new manager. Mourinho is currently unemployed. He was sacked by AS Roma in January 2024. It has been four months since Mourinho chose to wait for an offer and fill the rush with other jobs. Actually, as soon as he left Roma, Mourinho's name was immediately associated with a number of clubs. It is even mentioned that there are several rich clubs from the Saudi Arabian League who are interested. Rafinha Productive Period Barcelona successfully won, without conceding when hosting Real Sociedad, in week 35 of La Liga 2023, Bonchard 2024. 
Barcelona won with a score of 2-0. Lamine Yamal opened Barcelona lead with a goal he scored in the 40th minute. After that, Rafinha doubled it through the execution of a penalty in the 90 plus 3 minute. Rafinha is currently in a productive period. In his last 10 appearances for Barcelona in all competitions, the 27-year-old Brazilian winger has been quite diligent in scoring goals and designing assists. Xavi again parked Vito Roque, this time what is the reason? Vito Roque did not play in the Barcelona vs. Real Sociedad match. Blaugrana coach Xavi Hernandez gave an explanation as to why he did not play the young Brazilian. Barcelona successfully defeated Real Sociedad with a score of 2-0 in the match, or not a 35 La Liga, 21-23-2024. The match took place at the Estadio Olimpico Luis Companies. After the match, Xavi explained why he didn't play Vitor Roque. According to him, the player suffered an injury so he could not play. Vitor was a doubt until the last minute because yesterday he had a very hard knock on his ankle. Reluctantly bait to Rasmus Hoyland. The less good news came from Manchester United. Because of the performance that never improved, Manchester United players are said to have begun to reluctantly release passes to Rasmus Hoyland. Hoyland's performance was not good enough at the beginning of the season. He is difficult to score. However, its performance improved in the first two months of 2024. Hojlund then suffered an injury just as his performance was on the rise. After recovering, the 21-year-old struggled to reach his best level. Hojlund returned to the situation at the beginning of the season. For the sake of Arsenal, Mesut Ozil is willing to support Tottenham against City. Former Arsenal midfielder Mesut Ozil supports Tottenham to be able to win points when duel against Manchester City. In the last two seasons, Arsenal have seen starting to show their fangs under Mikel Arteta. They performed so solidly on the Premier League stage. This season, Arsenal even have a chance to become Premier League champions, but now they have to compete with Manchester City. Barcelona future rests on Lamina Yamal's shoulders. A compliment was again given by Javi to Lamina Yamal. He said the 16-year-old young man would be the backbone of Barcelona in the future. The praise was given by Xavi after the Barcelona vs. Real Sociedad match in the early hours of this morning. The match was won by Las Azulgrana with a score of 2 0. Lamine Yamal became one of the determinants of Barcelona's victory in this match. He scored Barcelona's first goal in the 40th minute. Fabrizio Romano said, Real Madrid do want Trent Alexander Arnold. European transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has opened up on speculation over Trent Alexander-Arnold future. He admitted that the defender is currently a target of Real Madrid. Alexander-Arnold is one of the Liverpool Academy players who successfully penetrated the Red squad. Over the past few years, his position as Liverpool's right-back could not be shifted by any player. The defender's slick performance is rumored to attract the attention of many top European clubs. One of the clubs that has recently been heavily linked with Alexander-Arnold is Real Madrid.